Okay guys, welcome to the mathematics lesson. Remember in our previous lesson, we looked at the bearings, all right? So I had given you this task to answer and then you gave me to mark and then some of you got the uh, answers wrong, then some of you got uh, some of the answers correctly and then you got D wrong. So I decided to answer this one so that you can see how I got the answers that I showed you. All right, so this question is coming from bearing. So the question reads, ABC is a right angled triangle in which angle NSC is equal to 110 degrees. So angle NSC, it is 110 degrees and angle ABC is equal to 50 degrees. So angle ABC, 50 degrees. Then they are saying find the bearing of A, A from C. So you find the bearing of A from C. Then it be uh, B from A. So you find B from A. Then you see A from B. So uh, A from B. Then you D, C from B. So C from B. So remember in our previous lesson on bearing, so when you are answering on bearing, let's push this one this side a bit. So when they say uh, you find the bearing of A from C, meaning you have to go to C. So you find the bearing of A from C, A from C. So you come to C, you make a north line like that. Then you move from north to C. You, you find this angle between the north and C, this angle here, this angle between the north and the line where A is. Alright, so you need to know this angle and this angle becomes the bearing of A from C. So for you to be able to answer this question, you must understand also rules of uh, angles. Alright, so like you have this a line here. So this line actually where this angle and this other angle here and this other angle here lie is called a straight line and a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So for us to be able to find this angle, unless maybe we know this angle and this angle, then we say 180 degrees minus this angle and this angle, then we'll be able to know this. But unfortunately, it's not possible currently to know this angle and this angle but we can also extend this line. If we are to extend this line like that, then we'll create two parallel lines. And if you have two parallel line, uh, lines joined by a, a diagonal line like this, meaning that the opposite angles or alternate angles are equal. So meaning that this angle here must be uh, equal to this angle here between this line and this. Also, this angle here must be equal to this line and the, this line here, this angle here. So now we know that the, also this angle here is also equal to 110. So if this angle is 110 because of this, then we can know this by just saying equals uh, 180 minus this angle here, 110, which will give us uh, 0, 7, 0. So according to the previous lesson we had on bearings, we said this is how we are supposed to report uh, bearings in uh, three figures, all right? So 0 0.70, which is actually 70 degrees. All right, so let's find also uh, B, uh, uh, B from A, bearing of B from A. So meaning you are at B, then you are coming from A. A. So you need to move from the north of A to go to B. So here you need this angle here, all right, from the north to this line where B is. All right, so again, for us to be able to know this angle here, unless we know this angle, all right, we know, and this angle, let me remove this line. We know this angle here, right? So this angle here is 90. So we have 110 and 90, and then we don't know this. So if we make a complete circle like that, a complete circle gives us what we call 360 degrees, a complete circle. So a complete circle gives us 360 degrees. 
Now we know this side and this side, but this side we don't know it. So how do we know this angle here? So here we can just know it by saying equals, so we can say 360 minus, if we say 110 plus 90, it will be 200. So say minus 200 is equal to 160 degrees. So this one will be 100 and 60 degrees which will be the bearing of b from a the bearing of b from a so when you are at a going to b that will be the angle then let's go to c we find the bearing of a from b so the bearing of a from b so if you are at b then you want to go to a so you come at b here what you do you draw a line like that at B, a north line, then you need to move from this angle clockwise until you find. And always remember, we measure these angles clockwise, just as we said in our previous lesson. So you move from here up to like that. So let me show this one. So you move like that. So this is the angle from north to where A is. So how do we know also this angle here? Is it easy to know it? Yes. So if we say this is the, from here up to here, this is a straight line, it will be 180. Then we add 180, then plus this angle from here up to here, then it will give us the bearing of A from B. So do we know this angle from here up to here? Yes, we can know it because if we have this one as a parallel line with this one, then it means these alternate angles, this angle here and this angle here are equal. So this one we found it to be 170. So meaning equally this one is 170. So for us now to know the total here, we'll say equals 180, which is from here to here, then plus uh, 160. All right. Oh, this one was 160, yes. So from here to here, it is 160. Then it will give us 340 degrees, which will be the bearing of A from B. So the bearing of A from B is you move like that, 300, uh, 340 degrees. All right. So again, let's answer D. D says we find the bearing of C from B, the bearing of C from B. So if you are to be here, then you want to move to C. So again, you must use the north. So you need to move like that up to this line here. So this angle from here up to there, it's the one we need to know. So which will be the bearing of C from B. So we know this is 180, then we need to know this angle. So this angle, it is the, we can also know it, especially if we know this angle here, we are told it is 50. Then if we know this angle here, this angle, can we know it? Yes. If we know this angle here, this angle here will be 20 because this is 160, then this one will be 20 so that it becomes the total 180. So here it is just 120. Uh, so if this angle, is 20 meaning even this angle is 20 so opposite angles or alternate angles or z angles are equal so when you look at this it makes it letter z so this angle here and this angle they are equal so this is also 20 since this is 20 so 20 then if we add 50 it will be 70 so this side will be 70 so for us to know now from here up to here Unless we say 360, the whole of this one minus this part here, it will give us this part. So we'll say equals 360 minus this 50 plus 20, I said it will give us 70, then which will be equal to uh, 290 degrees. All right, so guys, this is how you were supposed to answer this question on the bearing. So I hope you have understood this lesson. So as for now, bye and see you in the next lesson.